Hello, my name is Eduardo and today I am here with a new tutorial, okay? And today I am very excited because this is my first Scratch tutorial. Um, well, uh, if you don't know what is Scratch, okay, just let me tell you that Scratch, it is something where uh, it's a tool that helps you program your own interactions, stories, games, and animation. If you know App Inventor, okay, uh, this is something very similar to App Inventor, okay, but this is just to work with uh, applications or software or anything uh, just for your computer, not for your Android device. And the system, okay, to work with it, it is similar, it is uh, based on blocks and these things. But, okay, so today uh, we're going to have this tutorial and I hope you are like excited for this. So, uh, just you can go here to this page that is uh, scratch.mit.edu. Uh, okay, so and you will have this thing and it's very, very, very interesting because you have animation, you can create art games okay so music stories etc okay it is a very 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 powerful thing okay um it is not only for kids okay so um well today we're going to have a tutorial and i'm pretty 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 excited about that okay so if you don't know scratch please give it a try and for today as I showed you, I have this tutorial for Scratch, okay? I was playing with this because I am very, I am new to Scratch, okay? And it's pretty funny, okay? Because I created this thing because I, I had seen uh, Scratch before, but I've never like used it like seriously. But then I showed this program to my son, okay? And to my daughter, okay? And they were really, really, really fascinated for this. My son was uh, trying to follow the tutorials and he was making some interesting uh, apps. There are lots of tutorials to learn this. And I also learned from him, okay? And then I decided to make uh, a simple version of Space Invaders. That, if you remember, I have a Space uh, Invaders, uh, Invaders version of, for App Inventor. And I have some tutorials, okay? Some free tutorials and some uh, premium tutorials. Well. Basically, the idea of this game, check, you have here these uh, enemies, then you start the game with the space key, then you move with the arrows. It's because of that. pretty basic it is pretty basic it is not finished yet okay but I hope you um, you like this tutorial okay so this is the first thing and it's very interesting when you are like working with other things okay other software to create programs or applications okay and you can find many things that are very 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 common okay so as you have and you find some challenges okay well i hope you like this okay so let's start with the tutorial so well i just changed this to english because i guess it's better for you so now uh, to start well we have here this is the default pro uh, project when you make or create a project so we are going to select the cat we are not going to use the cat and we are going to delete the cat okay to do that you can take these scissors and then you just drag them over there and you delete the <clears throat> the cat now i have some images that I just created for this game, if you check. Um, but maybe you can use your own images or you can use some from the gallery. You have a very nice gallery here with lots of things. Okay, so we can find something like um, for the game. 
So probably I am thinking about probably this little bill. Okay, animals or something like bats or this flying thing, uh, flying. So probably, probably, probably I will take animals. Hmm. What about this? I like these ones. You click on this and this is going to be my enemy. And I can rename this to Beetle Enemy. So let's call it Enemy. We have an enemy now. Then we are going to drag another sprite for the ship. Okay. So for that, I'm going to go here, choose Sprite from Library. And we're going to select something like a ship. Uh, we can use also in flying if there is something. I guess this spaceship is the best thing we can have. Okay, so yeah, maybe this one. Okay, select spaceship. You just wait a little bit, and we have the spaceship, and then we have the beautiful bug. Okay, or beetle. Now we need a backdrop. Okay, so for this backdrop or background, we can use again here, you select on stage. And then we're going to select here, uh, choose back uh, backdrop from library. And you can select any of these ones. Let's see if we can find something from space or like that. Probably something like this. <clears throat> I like this one. So I, ch I choose underwater one. Then you just wait a little bit. Uh, and then we have the uh, um, this uh, backdrop or back background. So we select here. As I showed you, you have here scripts. It is for the blocks, customs. If you have here sometimes different options, okay. So different customs, and then you have sounds. Here you can record your own sound. So but I'm going to try to make everything, okay, as you can use it, okay. Even if you don't have the images from the uh, from the game, okay. Well, now the first thing, let's place this. This ship is too big, okay. So I'm going to place it here in zero. Then I'm going to select this tool that is shrink. You click on shrink and then select here in the screen and you reduce the size of the ship then you just drag it and maybe this is going to be the original position okay then for the bug the bug it's too big too we also select shrink if you want to make it bigger of course you can use the other one that is grow or in this case we're going to use shrink click 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 so it's maybe too small but I guess that's okay that's okay over there so you have the information in here for all your objects or sprites here and you have the direction it's 90 the rotation style and then if you can drag it when it's playing or show that it's show or not show so at the beginning we can say this just like show. Ah, here we can use this and then we can rotate it to 180. So this is the direction of the enemy. Okay, so you can do that. If you want to edit the direction, but remember if we edit the direction, the sprite will move to uh, down. So now we can go to the custom and also you can check it in here for example if you select you can rotate in here and it is not affecting the uh, direction okay so in that case so when you affect the direction the sprite will move down okay if you are like moving something or animating something so that's why we are going to keep it like that then we go here to scripts again and then for the background, I guess it's okay. 
so we have this and the ship maybe a little bit smaller that part then this is in zero and that's it so let's start the first thing that we're going to work right now it is with this beautiful enemy we can drag many of these uh, things we can create another one from here and the same or we can create a clone okay so I guess today we're going to create a clone so well so to start creating the clones so if you are familiar with App Inventor you can create procedures like in here we're going to create a make a block that it's like a procedure okay so we're going to start we're going to click here and we're going to call it create clones that's it ah but you know what I um, ah when you want to delete a block you just drag it over here for example if you have this block and you don't need it just drag it in this area and it will disappear so anyway so we're going to create again the block and we're going to call it create clones and then in options you are going to add this like a variable for this uh, clone now you need to define what is this function going to do okay so well to do that we're going to create clones but first I guess we are going to use um, we're going to create some things at the beginning the bulk it will be like um, here so we need to check the position there is an option here when you touch a sprite you can assign blocks to this sprite if you touch this one you can assign blocks to this sprite okay there are some variables that you can make and these are global variables that you can use here and in here but when you create just blocks blocks normal blocks so you just can see the blocks for this all of these things are going to affect this uh, sprite so let's start with this beautiful bug the first thing is to place it okay so we're going to place the bug in a place so we select motion and we're going to select go to and we're going to drag it in here so let's just remove this first and we are going to start the game when we start the game or initialize is using this flag so you have here in events you click in events and you drag when click when you press this button this is the first thing that is going to happen we are going to place the bug because we are selecting the bug in the place which place so this is very cool about uh, scratch for example check I am moving this and the variables are updating so you can drag the variable for example if I want to have my bug in here I just go to it and it has the values over there if you can check and confirm that's it anyway we have this and then what is next the next thing okay uh, also we are going to select here in looks we are going to show it because at the beginning it will be like hidden okay so probably so we are going to do this thing then we place it and then we are going to create clones to create the clones we are going to use here in control we're going to create um, a condition to make the clones and we are going to do this we're going to go to repeat for any number of times let's suppose that we want to have one two three four five five clones five clones plus the original equals six insects okay so in this case I want to have five clones we are going to make five clones we are going to repeat the procedure to create the clones five times next thing that we are going to do uh, it is to uh, create clone here in control we go to the uh, here to the bottom and then we are going to say create a clone of myself okay so it's going to create a clone of this bug five times but if we just do it like this it will overlap all the clones so let's say that I want to add here the block create clones how many clones well we are going to use this variable the variable 
So we are going to drag this variable in here and we are going to control here. We want to create five clones. So if I play here, I have my clones, but they are overlapping. To do that, to avoid this, we are going to, uh, after we create the clone, we are going to move the sprite any quantity in, for example, in the direction that is, the direction is 90, so it is moving to the right. So let's say if I click 10 steps, move 10 steps. Let's see what's happened now. It's going to place it here, and then it's going to create the five clones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five clones plus the original, so quite the same. So we need to give more space. So we stop. When you stop, clones are deleted. So now we are going to select in this case 30. So let's select 30, stop and play. Almost, okay. So what about 50? That's it. It looks much better. So 